Yeah. Um, obviously, I uh, want to start by giving Washington State credit. I think uh, Coach Leach has done a nice job with their program. They're very much improved. Um, you know, they're a tough football team, play hard. You know, guy, their guys play with an edge. Uh, I like the way that they play, you know, and I think they've made big strides since he took over the program last year, and I think they'll continue to make big strides. And so I want to start by giving them credit. Obviously, uh, not a good performance by us. You know, I turned the ball over five times, fumbled inside their five-yard line twice. Um, you know, you're not going to win if you do that. doesn't matter who you play. That is not, that's not winning football. Had, the, had five turnovers. Um, you know, right now we, we are having a very difficult time running the football, and that is putting a lot of pressure on our offensive line. And we're not good enough up front right now to, to be able to pass protect and, and hold up. You know, Jared had pressure on him all day, and, you know, I think got a little bit rattled because of it. Um, you know, we're – don't really know what to say about the injuries, never seen anything like it. You know, uh, just – you know, we lose at least five, six guys every game. Uh, I think we lost five or six again today. So, uh, you know, but that's something we can't control. The way we, what we can control is the way we play and the way we coach. And obviously, we've got to do better. Uh, but it was a pretty disappointing, uh, pretty disappointing day. Sonny, whoa, you. Uh, you drove the ball down really nicely, opening series of the game, and had the ball down there. How much does the whole game change when you turn the ball over on the five on the first play? You know, I don't know. Uh, hard to say. You know, uh, I think when you're a very fragile team that doesn't have a lot of confidence, I think it probably has an impact on you, and that's what we are. I mean, you know, the the, the disappointing thing is we're, you know, if you look at look at our team against Northwestern and our team now. Um, you know, we haven't played uh, as good as we did in that game since since then. You know, and obviously we've had a, a, a lot of personnel. I mean, I think we have seven guys on defense that started that game that don't start anymore because of injuries. Uh, we have several on offense. You know, our center and right guard are both out. And, um, but, you know, we, we, don't, we have no confidence right now. You know, and I think we're a fragile football team. And when you're a fragile football team and you go, uh, you, know, you fumble your first possession of the drive, or of the game, rather, after you put a decent drive together, I think it's, it takes its toll on you. You know, if you're a seasoned football team and you've got a lot of mental toughness and you've got a lot of guys that have been through battles before, I mean, it's no big deal. But w with our group right now, it's a big deal. You had a, a lot of penalties today, too. Is that sort of a symptom of the same thing about just the lack of confidence? And Yeah, I mean, I think we had some penalties that were uh, a lack of discipline. I think we had a couple of personal foul penalties that, that you know, there's no excuse for that. I mean, that's, that's discipline. That's, you know, we've, we've got to get our players more discipline. That falls, falls on coaching. Um, so that part of it's got to get better. You know, it was it was an unusual football game. I mean, there were a lot of strange plays in the game, and uh, you know, we just got to play more disciplined football. Can you talk about the decision to move Chris Harper inside in the slot, and what did you think of his performance? Today? Yeah, I thought he played good. I mean, obviously, he was productive. You know, had over 200 yards receiving, and thought it gave us a little bit of an edge. We're trying to get our best players on the field right now. We're we're struggling to make plays at running back, and so it's important for us to to be able to. Uh, you know, make some plays with some inside receivers. We felt like we just weren't getting the production out of that group that we needed and felt like we could get some more production if we moved Chris inside. And thought he played well. Thought he played well. You know, there's his first time in there, and so he'll he'll have to improve and, and get some things ironed out. But uh, but I thought he was very productive. Sonny, how much of what happened on defense was was just the defense not playing well and how much of it was running out of bodies in certain spots? Well, nobody cares about the excuses. I mean, I could sit up here and give you a, a litany of excuses, but I'm not going to. I mean, it's we just gotta gotta play better, gotta coach better. And again, that that falls on us. Um, you know, I thought our defense played really well at times with their back against the wall. I mean, we we turned it over and 
gave him a short field and they held him out on the fourth down, you know, right there at the one yard line. And after a turnover, and I mean, it's just, uh, you know, quite frankly, probably thought we played good enough defense to win the game. You know, we just, again, gave him a bunch of short fields offensively and five turnovers. You said during the week that you didn't expect Leach and Washington State to come out with anything you hadn't seen. Is that what happened, or was there yeah, some no, wrinkles? Yeah, I, I didn't see anything that was, was not not familiar to us. Yeah, they just do a good job executing their offense. I mean, that's what the – that's what, you know, that offense does, and it's uh, it's a high execution. You could, you could tell he threw the ball well and caught the ball well, and they did a good job adjusting. I, I thought we had a good game plan defensively. We, we tried to show them some looks, can confuse them, keep them off balance change the leverage on the receivers. All those things are, are important when you play a, uh, against this kind of offense. And, um, you know, credit Washington State, they made some nice adjustments and, and uh, you know, adjusted to our alignments and kind of what we were trying to do. And, you know, that's what they do. Coach, Bigelow's continued to kind of struggle with, with fumbles here. What's your comfort level with him? And, and can you continue to send a guy like that back out there? Yeah, you know, uh, poor kid just didn't have a lot of confidence right now. You know, I think that's – we've got to figure out a way to get him some. You know, and uh, it's, it's tough right now to, to, to play him, honestly. So we'll see what happens. Uh, Coach, with a young team, um, you know, the schedule's not getting any easier. Will it be possible for you to find a way to help build up their confidence and maybe separate that from outcomes, sort of given how tough the schedule will be? Yeah, I mean, you know, the thing about about where we are right now, you just you can't look long term. I mean, you've got to look day to day and figure out how to get better, you know, today and tomorrow. And and so, you know, we'll do that as a coaching staff. And and uh, you know, schedule doesn't get any easier, but it, you know, schedules schedule what a schedule is. I mean, that's it is what it is, you know. And I mean, it's never going to be easy around here. I mean, it's just the way it is, uh, which is fine. You know, we just got to get better. Can you give us updates on McClure, you Willis? Know, Willis, what was the nature of his injury? Do you even know? Uh, you know, I don't know for sure. I don't know for sure. No, I haven't I haven't gotten any kind of injury report from anybody yet regarding those guys. Was Was Willis taken to a hospital? Do you know? Yes. Yes, he was. Yeah. It looked like Isaac struggled quite a bit out there in the secondary. Um, you know, obviously you mentioned you're, you're pretty thin. What's the thought process in terms of considering lifting guys' red shirts? Well, obviously we've lifted Cameron Walker's already. Uh, you know, it's tough to do right now because, you know, we have some guys that just uh, didn't get much done through fall camp. Trey Cheek was had a hamstring and didn't, hadn't really practiced much. Uh, and Darius Allensworth is coming off of an ACL and that really isn't full speed yet. And so, you know, I don't think those are possibilities. You know, we've just got get to get the bunch better that we've got. Are you down to about three corners that you have that are healthy? Yeah, yeah, we're going to start. We'll start practicing players on both sides of the ball, you know, uh, which we did. We did Wednesday and Thursday. Uh, we practiced uh, Bryce Treggs and Chris Harper at corner just to – in case of emergency, and we, we considered using them both at times today. We just didn't feel like they had enough practice. So we'll probably end up doing that some, practicing some uh, running backs, maybe a linebacker as well. We're, we're, we're kind of out of linebackers. Coach Dykes, um, can you tell us how do you feel the loss of linebacker Chris McCain will affect your defense in going into the future? Um, you know, I mean, obviously, you don't want to lose any good, you know, any players. I mean, that's that's you know not a good thing for us right now, certainly. Um, but but you know, that situation is we we as a football coach, you got to make tough decisions every day, and you got to do what's best for your team. And and we felt like we did what's best for us. We know it. We knew it was going to have a negative impact on our um, you know on our depth at a situ at a position we don't have much depth. But we felt like that uh, for the long-term program, that was the right decision to make. Can you just talk a little bit about Jared's performance? Obviously, he had a pretty nightmare game last week and came. Yeah, yeah, I thought he well. was. You know, he did some good things today. I mean, he got. 
I think he was, I, I don't know if he ever really got comfortable. You know, he, he didn't seem like he was playing maybe with the same level of confidence he had played in prior to the Oregon game. I think part of it um, is natural. You know, you have what, what happened against Oregon happened to you. I think it shakes you a little bit when you're an 18-year-old freshman. Uh, you know, and obviously we, I didn't think we protected very well up front. And so I think those two things resulted in him probably not being as sharp as he has been up to this point. He's had a few of those uh, interceptions now where he kind of just overthrows the guy completely. Um, what do you think is happening on those plays? It seems like they would Yeah, just forcing the ball. I mean, just yeah. forcing the ball up there, trying to, trying to make a play when, you know. And again, that's, that's what young players do sometimes, you know. And that's, that's kind of where we are. We got a lot of young guys out there, and we're making some mistakes, and we got to get better. Uh, clarification on Willis: Is it a head? Uh, you could call it head, neck, upper body. I, you know, I'm not for sure yet. Okay. Thanks. Thanks.